Hi, welcome to Car Mechanical. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the spark plugs on your Mazda MX-5, and we're doing it on my 991.8. Now, typically, this should be a two minute video. You remove the HT leads, you put a spark plug socket in there, you undo them, you take the old spark out, you put the new spark plug in, and you're done. Unfortunately, I had a bit of issue with this. Now, just previously in the afternoon, I changed all eight of my wife's Honda Jazz spark plugs using the same socket and extension. With this, it just wouldn't undo. And I wanted to illustrate how much effort I was putting in this really was too much effort. I probably shouldn't have even tried that. I thought things were too tight, so tried a bit of soaking with plus gas overnight to see if that would loosen things. Also tried getting the engine right up to temperature and there was no joy. And in the end, it actually took up an input of a friend to say, actually use a breaker bar on it and you can use a slow even pressure. When I went over to his, we were able to crack them off using a small breaker bar but it made the difference from the socket because when I was using the socket, it felt like I was either about to rip the threads or the socket itself was about to slip as I take up the tension. So getting that out of the way, let's start again. So you can take your HT leads out. You're gonna place them to the side in order. You still can find diagrams for them online if you forget what order they're in, but we're just gonna get them neatly tucked out of the way. We're then gonna get the socket on the breaker bar. I'm gonna crack them loose. So that has been done off camera mainly but you can just sort of see there it undoes nicely. And then once we're done with that, we can use a sort of special spark plug tool to undo them nice and quickly. And this fits in, and this just lets you turn it by hand, and you can undo them very quickly. Equally, it's really handy for putting them back in. So we're gonna pull the first spark plug, and then we're gonna do that for the other four as well. So again, just to cover it is, we're gonna use the breaker bar to break them off. We're going to use a spark plug wrench to get them undone. You can use a socket if you want. I'm just using this as it shows on camera better. And then we're going to take out plugs two, three, and four. Now on three and four, I noticed that I'm getting some oil dripping. Now what that hints to me is that the rocker cover needs to come off and the seals need to be redone as well. Now I'm just going to use some forceps and some kitchen tissue to clean up the plug wells. Um, when the plugs came out, it probably dropped into the cylinders. So when it starts, there will be a little bit of smoke, but I just want to clean up what I can. And in a second, we'll compare the old spark plugs to the new spark plugs. We're going to see quite a bit of it. Now, there was nothing wrong with how the car was running, but when I bought it, it came with the new plugs. So as part of servicing, I just wanted to get them swapped over. So there's the ones that we took out. And some of the rubber from the HT leads uh, was a bit worn, so they need replaced at some point. But you can see that these plugs have seen better days. And those are the new plugs that are going in, so they're pre-gapped as well. Now, one thing you can do to stop your future self or your future mechanic from cursing you is to put a bit of anti-seize on the spark plugs. This just means that they won't corrode into place. Potentially, this might be part of the fun and games I had getting the old plugs off. You don't need much. Um, you're just going to pop it on. So I end up doing that for all four of the plugs. So we're gonna pop these back in using the spark plug wrench. This wrench is really nice because if it lets you find the thread, um, there's less of a risk of cross threading with it. So we're gonna put all four of the new plugs in. And I'm gonna get them mostly hand tight with the wrench and then I'm gonna do them up with the breaker bar. So I'm kind of going for tight plus then quarter to 90 degree sort of turn on top. Uh, I'm not going for any sort of specific torque setting, just kind of tight enough but not going crazy. Uh, there are proper torque settings out there if you do want to use them, but I was just sort of happy with doing it, plus 90 degrees from type. So with that done, we're going to put the HT leads back on in order, and then tidy the leads up, and we're pretty much done. So I'm putting the leads back on in order here. The wires are a little bit of a mess, so I swapped them around a little bit to make them better. I think they're too long. Um, I think we might need a slightly different set to go on here uh, to neaten things up a little bit. It just feels like some of them are an inch or two long and no matter how you kind of tuck them in, it's kind of getting away. They don't look as good as they could do. At some point I might repaint the rocker cover and get that a bit nicer, but we'll sort of see. So following this, I found that the car was smoother. I wouldn't say it was bad before, but there was a notable smoothness after it was done. Tight spark plugs aside, I continue to be impressed by how easy the MX-5 is to work on. Okay, and that's it for this video. So if you'd like to see more videos like this, please remember to subscribe. Please leave any comments or feedback in the comment section down below. And more than anything, thank you for watching.